Hey YouTube, see your boy Vegan. Supposed <clears throat> to do is um, upload this video tomorrow after I got a haircut and everything, but um, I just don't really care about the appearance. Um, it's about the message, not the messenger. Um, so I gave a little history and update. I had a vision last night um, before I went to sleep. I prayed about a vision and asked God to show me what He needed to show me. But before we get into my dream, let me give you a little history about myself so maybe you can get an idea what the dream means. So I've been an alcoholic for nine years now. I currently stopped drinking. I currently stopped smoking weed, uh, stopped cigarettes. Um, and honestly, it's only been about four days now. And um, I haven't drank. I really don't have the urge to drink. It may come here and there, but... By the faith of Jesus Christ, I know he's going to put it upon my heart to uh, fight this, fight this demon. And, um, alcohol has really ruined my life. It has ruined many of my relationships with my family, with my friends, with my jobs. And um, I currently am working and I'm doing a lot better in life as of right now because... You know, if you have faith, Jesus Christ will pull you through anything and he will reach out his hand to grab you and he will embrace you and he will show you the way. If you have the faith, it's time for us to pick up the cross and keep moving. So let's get into the dream. So um, I was I had a uh, well, a vision. I had a vision that I was walking with someone. I'm not really quite sure who I was walking with. Um, and we ended up walking to um, a shopping center, like a little plaza. And as we um, walk in, he was like, hey, let's go to the store. So I'm saying, hey, that's fine. As we walk into the store, um, it was a regular store. Um, had beer section. Um, they had, you know, behind the counters, the cigarettes. And on the, it was like four shelves, like aisles. In the, in the store and they had like chips um, honey bun you know the regular stores when you go in everything's natural so my friend he ends up leaving the store he said oh I forgot something let me go grab it real quick so I'm in the store and I know um, there was a guy behind the counter and I, we was laughing and we was joking and um, I was there just walk with my friend. Um, I saw the beers and things like that. And, you know, that little thought over my head said, oh, you should get one. And I told myself, no, I'm not going to drink no more. I want to change my life for Christ. I want to do better. I want to live my life accordingly because I know that this world is, you know, coming to an end. And I feel like Jesus Christ is coming back soon. And I want to I want to live for Christ. I'm not living for myself no more. And that's what we all should do is just live for Christ. Put away our habits. Put away our selfish pride. Stop living for ourselves. So anyway, as I'm waiting for my friend, I still have to step out the store, you know, just to check the scenery. And I was I went outside the store. I'm like, where are the cars go? You know, the, the lot was empty and it, the, um, only thing that was illuminating was the moon and um, the street lights were off. I'm like, this is kind of weird. And as I'm standing outside, it felt like the moon was getting darker and darker and darker. So um, as I'm noticing this, I'm like, OK, I have to be crazy. This can't this can't be real. This can't be real. So. um as I'm kind of getting nervous, I'll say, okay, you know what? This is really strange. So as I'm walking backwards, I'm walking backwards at this time. And I'm like, as I'm walking backward, as soon as I walk right into the store and outside just went completely back black. So I turned around and said, hey. And as I turn around and say, hey, to the cashier, the cashier is gone. And the, all, and the lights off are in the store. The only thing that is illuminating the store is the the section where the drinks are and um i noticed the chips 
the candies, everything was missing out the store and everything was, was replaced with alcohol. I mean, alcohol on every single shelf, behind the counter, inside the where the sodas were, it was alcohol and beers and wine. And, um, and um, I'm like, this is crazy. What happened to all the stuff? And I'm like, okay, I know what's going on here. I feel like I felt, I felt an evil presence. And as I trying to get back out the door, walking backwards, because I was really nervous, I stuck my foot in the door, and the door shut on my foot. And, and it was no pain, but it was like a, it was like a pressure, like somebody just grabbed your your ankle like that, not too hard, but like a pressure. And I felt a tug pulling me inside the store, but I was able to resist it slightly. And as as this is going on, the the light coming from the freezer section were um, starting to fade really slow and slow. So the store started to come really black. And I noticed that this whole section, as I'm looking at with nothing but alcohol and these alcohols and these beers had... Um, had the stickers on it, had the plastic around them, but the, it didn't have no name. So it wasn't, it didn't say Hennessy, it didn't say Marlowe, it was just blank. And as I'm going to resistance, I just put up the courage and be like, you know what, enough is enough. I put my foot to the door and as I'm walking towards the darkness, I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, you can't have me. As I started walking to the darkness, it felt like my heart just stopped. And as my heart stopped, I, I, I felt myself falling over face first. And my hands were my hands were like this, and I'm falling, and my eyes shut. And I just felt like I was outside my body. It just felt weird. And as I was outside my body, I'm going down. I'm going down, I'm going down, I'm going down, and I'm going down. And I'm going down and I feel like it's endless drop. And then all of a sudden, I felt like, I, I got into a vacuum, and so instead of going down, I start going up, and there's like this vacuum, like this suction, and I felt a jolt, and I woke up by my sleep, I, 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 it was like a jolt, and I woke up, and, and it's like, it was like, it just felt so real, and all night, I couldn't really sleep. Because I was thinking about, like, what does this dream mean? What does it dream mean? So I came up with my own conclusion. My own hypothesis or whatever you want to call it. And um, to me personally, I feel like the outside, when the moon was getting dark, there about to be every presence that's about, that is about to come upon this earth. And when I went back into the store, that light that is illuminating from the from the um, soda sections and things like that, I feel like that little bright light meant hope. That there's still hope. And all the liquors all over the place were a signal that this is what's going to destroy you. This is this is this is gonna be the outcome. And as I went towards the darkness and I feel like my heart stopped, I felt like I don't know what that even meant. That part right there, I felt like I was scared and I don't know. I just went into this void. So Maybe you can give me an idea of what my heart stopped and me falling into the void and me being sucked back into my body. Because there's a difference between dreams and visions. This wasn't no dream. This was actually a vision. And I feel like if we don't get it together now, when Jesus comes back, it's going to be too late. There's little hope at the end of the tunnel when this darkness comes over. You're just going to have faith. Pick up the cross and walk, please. I didn't even want to make this video, but I'm going to make it because I feel like someone may need to hear this. So if you're going through any problems during your life, addiction, I don't care what it is, pornography, whatever, stop it. Time is near. It's going to, it's, 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 don't let the world embrace you. Embrace God. Embrace Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way the life and the truth, or the way, the truth, and the life. In order to get to my Father, you must get through me. Jesus is merciful. God doesn't want nobody to fail.
but we fail ourselves by continually doing the things that we know we're not supposed to do. So repent. Get your life right with God. Get your life right with your family, your loved ones. Show them how much you love them and how much you care. Try to be different. Because if not, you're going to find yourself to where you're not going to want to be. And when Jesus walks off and says, I don't know you, depart from me, you work up iniquity, that's going to crush you. I don't want nobody to be left behind. I want everybody to rejoice in heaven. Well, that's it. Um, hopefully you guys can, you know, write some comments, like it, subscribe. Have a blessed day. Love y'all.